Only Philippa Isleheart may enter. People of Vergen. We have a magical mist full of ghosts just outside our walls, so you'd better think twice before entering it. The mist? May the plague take it. Threatens all manner of creatures. So anyone headed to their quarries or walking through the galleys should take exceptional heed. The squirrels that have made camp by the burnt huts are not our enemies. So says Saskia. So it is. Master Geralt of Rivia and Sorceress Philippa Isleheart will deal with the mist and the wraiths. Now, open the gates and get to work. Times. Would you look at that, friends? Geralt of Revier. Coincidences do happen. Greetings. <laughs> you don't know me, but I know you. I'm an employee of the Vivaldus Bank, and I'm business here. And to check up on the local mine's profitability. Vivaldi doing all right? Full of beans. And as per the instructions given to each of the bank's agents, I hasten to inform you that you have unlimited credit. Hmm. I could use a loan about now. Sure thing. However, my means are limited. I can offer you the standard short-term loan for those working in high-risk professions. Will that do you? I'm sure Vivaldi wouldn't mind if I borrowed a bit more than that. It's nearly all I've got on me, but I'll manage somehow. I think I've heard of eh? That's a witch, is not a human. So, no schnapps? No. Damn! What's with everyone being so nice today? Nothing good in store for us. Pray tell, what compels you to disturb the Prince of Edirne, Witcher? I have a few questions. And you believe I should answer them instead of setting my dogs on you? I think your Royal Highness has enough foes, here, abroad, 
in Wengerberg. The intricacies of succession are not something I wish to discuss with an itinerant monster slayer. I'm trying to figure out where this fog came from. What exactly happened here three years ago? Hensel's mages committed mass murder. A dark day for the knighthood and all people of honor. But it was honor that allowed us to survive. There was no defeat. No victory. Honor stood against wickedness. Virtue against black magic. You took part in that battle? My father stayed in the capital. He was to defend Wengerberg. I took to the field. I wanted to stop Henselt before he crossed the Pontar, but I was too late. So I decided to await him at Vergen. Henselt's army was exhausted. He would have triumphed if not for that heinous act. Henselt had mages with him, and they cast a treacherous spell on the entire battlefield. A fiery rain fell from the heavens. Destructive, murderous embers which brought the battle to an end. I gathered the few survivors and withdrew deep into the country. The soldiers were terrified. But Henselt showed no desire to pursue. Only a master mage could have cast such a powerful spell, and I suspect he could not have accomplished it alone. I remember Sabrina Glevesig. Through the flames I saw her observing the carnage from her mount, dressed in a hunting suit. Straight-backed. Dispassionate. Sabrina. If I remember correctly, she's Henselt's advisor. Was. Henselt condemned her to death for casting that spell. The Kedwenis roasted in their armor, just the same way the Adurnians did. You know what struck me when all hell broke loose? What I found astonishing and even amusing? Going into battle, we sang our Adurnian songs. They intoned their Kedweni hymns to Creve. But when fire descended from the sky, our cries of pain were no different. We all wailed as humans. For an instant, the magnitude of the tragedy brought together our two warring nations. I still have no idea where the spectral fog came from. I'm afraid I don't know either. I need royal blood. As you know, I I've yet to be crammed. But blood of your royal ancestors flows through your veins. Oh, true, but that doesn't mean I'll shed a drop for some vagabond. Are you a witcher or a vampire? I need it to save Saskia. I need you to live! Don't bother me with such audacious proposals. By a woman. Strange. The gods, who needs this? A dare you desert. Sweat. Lady Saskia will defeat Hensel and make Bergen her capital. You don't know.
I've never seen so many strangers in my life. I must talk to you, Richard. What's going on? I'm Elias, of Jorveth's Commando. I have an urgent matter. Tell me. Men from Vergen have been disappearing for some time. We recently found some of their corpses, so it doesn't seem to be desertion. Only men among the victims? Young men, humans and elves. Where did you find the bodies? In different places, mainly in the burned village near the ravine that leads to the town. I need to see the corpses. They're all buried. Where? Beneath a mound in the forest behind Vergen, but you shouldn't go there. Why not? Desecrating graves is a serious offense. The families of the dead will be furious. What state were the bodies in? They looked gruesome. Nothing an elf would have done, nor a human. I don't work for free. You'll get your reward. Do well, and I may give you something more than coin. We're losing good men. I'll see what I can do. Look, another one. You let one human in, and in no time, you've got a swarm. Ants, they are. Let me I tell you, you and women need to be safe. Oh, so he ho! He ho! He ho! Regards! He ho! Oh. Geralt, right? My uncle's told me a lot about you. Nice work with those spectres. And Saskia! Well, I wager the gods didn't think you could save her. Your uncle? Cecil! I help him out here and there managing Vergen. Scale and burdens, my name. Nice to meet you. I'm looking for places near Vergen where magic would be strong. Somewhere a sorcerer might have stayed. Let me think. Verfren, a summoner of elementals, once lived in the wood beyond Vergen. They say his creatures excavated the entire southern wall. You could also search the nearby ruins and abandoned crypts. If boulders with arms and legs aren't magic, then I don't know what is. Is Cecil your guardian? Aye. Ever since my parents passed on. They took me in, fed me, taught me a profession and how to live. How did your parents die? During one of the massacres Demavend arranged for us. But I'd rather not talk of that. Sure, sorry. What'll you do when the battle rolls around? I'll be right out front fighting! Uncle Cecil's allowed it. Says I'm an adult. I'm gonna kick some kid when he has. No fears? Of what? My uncle believes I can do it. And Yarpin taught me how to swing an axe with follow-through. I'll smash a few heads, then go to the tavern and drink till I drop. Battles are unpredictable, and this'll be your first. You'll have to kill, wade through piles of bloody corpses, all the while watching you don't get cut down yourself. Sure you're ready for this? Ah, to tell the truth, I'm shitting myself a bit. Straw dummies. That's all I've swung at so far. When I think on what's going to happen here. But, all for one and one for all, right? Just don't tell my uncle, please. He's thrashed me a few times already for talk like that. I won't say a word. The peasants now refuse to shovel manure. They dream of fighting, looting. Let them Hello. Dream. Lots going on around here. Aye, we've got a virgin dragon slayer. Squiddles dazzled with her. 
politicking peasants, witches and a witcher. The onlookers gawking at the whole thing. Hope things get back to normal soon. I no, think I've had some of Afraid of him! Geralt, sit down. We haven't yet celebrated your raid into the mist. Ah, sorry, sorry. Where are my manners? Sheldon Skaggs, veteran of the battles of Sodden and Brenner. And all ends along the way. You've already met Vergen's elder? Greetings. Gentlemen, not sure about you, but my throat's parched from all these greetings. Funny, those were the first words out of your mouth. Master Dandelion's right. Around for everyone! On me! I'd gladly drink, but Saskia was poisoned, and time is of the essence. How can we help? Speak! Have you ever heard of a plant called the Dwarven Immortal? Have we? The pecs have tight arses. To tell the truth, I've no idea, Skags. But it's just a saying. You're the only one using it. Witcher, the Immortel. It appears most often near anthracite and aluminosilicate deposits. Philippa needs it to heal Saskia. A rare curio, but there's a mine nearby, and who knows? You might find it deep underground. Is the mine far? Not at all. It's in Vergen itself, in the town's upper quarter. You're eager for this expedition, but... Uh... Nobody told the Witcher that the mine's closed. Closed? That's true. But it's long overdue a cleaning. Weed out all the underground shit. What are you talking about? Not a month ago, miners started disappearing. Must have tapped the wrong vein and woken some scum from the deep. We wanted to send a crew of stout fellows in. But Saskia said she needs all the soldiers she can find up top and ready to defend the town. We closed the shaft. Fearing the filth would emerge and overrun us all. Looks like we arrived just in time, eh, Geralt? So it seems. Let's go. Right on. With this crew, we needn't fear any monster. How about you, Sheldon? You coming with us, or stay around to get your fuck? Another chance like this won't come around in a hurry. Fucking can wait. I'm with you. Let's meet at the mine's entrance. He travels the lands, killing monsters for coin. He's got those glistening things. Sorcerers mutated him when he was young. Hello. Let one stray in, and before you know it, the neighborhood's full of them. At your service. I've told that story a thousand times. I've heard enough of flying women. I've heard of you. Godspeed, Witcher! Take care of yourself, Witcher. I think some. Hello? Philippa asked after you. Belly! The Witcher's on board. We can go. 
Let's get to work, my bearded friends. Open the shaft, Skags. If you kill off those monsters, the whole of Vergam will be grateful. I'm sure some coin would be found. We'll keep that in mind, Cecil. So, Sheldon, you opened the shaft yet? Keep your pricks in your trousers. You can't just plow forward all the time. A mine is like a lover. You need to be gentle, so she accepts you moist and hot. You and your music, Sheldon. Close. What was that? Necrophages. With this many appearing, they must have a nest nearby. 
Come on! Show yourselves! I'll let you taste my axe! Ooh, you're making them shit, bricks. Even then, they'd stink less than you! Damn it, grab your weapons. Would you be kind enough to move that ass of yours?
Shut up!
I can hear them. Things could get hot.
I wouldn't mind a drink about now. 